Okay, afternoon everyone and welcome to my hangar. Um, basically, this video is titled Goose Guy RS4, let's talk about setup. Um, and there's a very good reason for that, which will be self-explanatory as, as you, you know, join me in the video and watch it. Um, and I'm not doing a, a full setup video as such. I've gone through how to set up a um, Spectrum radio when you're setting up for a helicopter to uh, use this GTS flight controller from Goose Guy that comes with the RS4 and you know then a uh, very very important um, chat really about setting the GTS controller up and what I felt really are things that were maybe just a little bit overlooked by um, other YouTube channels when when they they talk about setting this flight controller up because um, you know this this is not a negative video this helicopter was lovely to build yes I had a few little problems and I've got to be honest that you know the GTS flight controller using the supplied Bluetooth app that from Goose Guy is an absolute game changer for setting up fly wireless helicopter controllers. It really is a fantastic bit of kit. So come in, you know, watch the video, and obviously, if you are interested in helis and you're thinking about building one of these Goose Guy RS4 helis or even the RS2 or the RS7, um, you know, you could have the same problem that I had and this video will explain to you how to overcome that problem. Okay, so we're going to talk about um, setting up the Goose Guy RS4 and the first thing we're going to talk about really is how to set it up for Spectrum because Spectrum is uh, obviously what I fly. And what I'm going to do is, although I've done it now and I've set everything up myself, what I'm going to do is just show that um, basically the steps to setting up, um, starting off with a model select. So we'll go to add a new model and then we say create and then we go for model type and we select heli so it says that data will be reset and we click yes obviously then we go down to model name now um, I'm just going to leave it 39 heli just, just for the um, ease of making this video and then what we do then is we go down to swash type and we just leave it as you can see there it's on normal and we'll have a look at what what it means to go to the next and it just says normal so we leave it uh, swash type normal then we go to flight mode setup and what we want to do is we want to go down to the switch it says switch B at the moment and we click on that and if we throw the switch that we want to put the flight mode on and I'm going to throw switch B which is that switch there on the corner so we've thrown switch B it's selected switch B we click that right we don't have to worry about switch 2 but what we do have to worry about is the hold so we're going to click that and we're going to put that on H switch which is the back switch there I always have my hold on that back switch so we can click now to select H and then if we throw H we can see that it's showing that the hold, the hold is on or off flight mode and if we throw this flight mode switch we can see that we've got normal, idle up one or flight mode one and flight mode two. So that's how you set your flight mode up. 
and then we want to go down to then just channel assign so we click on channel assign and basically what we want to do is we want to go down to gear make sure this says five gear is gear and then we're going to go to next and then we're going to go to gear and we're going to select the switch we want for gear so I'm going to have that on switch A which is this back switch there so switch A and we select and the reason why we're doing that is because with the Goose Guy GTS controller it's got attitude control which is a six axis gyro uh, self leveling so you can use it so like if you're flying in idle up one and you get into difficulty you could switch this switch and it would correct the helicopter and get the helicopter flying straight and level and obviously then you can switch it off then when you're in idle up one or idle up two so we've selected the switch okay so that's all we needed to do there so we've selected five gear and that's on switch A so we're going to go back then and basically obviously we would then want to set up uh, in the UK we've got no choice really in America they can check they can select frame rate 11 milliseconds or 22 so we're just going to leave that at 22 milliseconds Warning, stunt two, stunt two. Normal mode. and then if we just go then everything else would be I mean servo setup you want to make sure that everything is is literally bog standard so you've got 100% travel in both directions I didn't uh, change any of that um, dual rate and expo I'm just leaving it at no expo and 100% just for setup purposes so we leave that like that Th throttle curve okay we've got it just basically for all modes we've got the throttle just nice and linear so we've got you can see one is naught, two is 25, three is 50, four is 75 and five is 100 so that's what we want a nice linear curve and then if I go to pitch curve then again we're just going to have the pitch curve just for setting up purposes just a linear pitch curve naught to 100 and I'm just going to check there was nothing else we don't have to do anything with any of the switch setup the gyro the governor tail mixing so all those adjust obviously we can set the timer up so we've gone timer one timer we're going to have countdown we want four minutes because that's what they recommend um, basically that was everything that that I set on the radio just checking now to make sure yeah so we've gone if I go back to the main screen we've got heli we're in normal mode so time was four minutes and we've set everything else up just just standard so that basically is how easy the setup on the transmitter is now obviously once once the heli is set up then what we would want to do then is then adjust you know our throttle curve and our pitch curve for all the different flight modes and you know that is something that you know you can't tell anybody how to do that really that comes with experience and flying different helicopters because um, I used to have sort of like different um, throttle curves and pitch curves but I tend to now where I can just go with linear uh, curves but I know with this with this heli I've set it up with 12 degrees positive pitch and 12 degrees negative pitch so what I will be doing on my pitch curve is just changing it so as I'm not getting that full 12 degrees downwards pitch which when you panic and you lower the throttle or the collective stick you can really drop the helicopter quite violently and really fast so I just ease that pitch off in normal mode for when I'm coming down and landing 
Again, I'll be setting up Jewel Rate and Expo, but that'll be done really in conjunction with the maiden flight and flying the heli for the first couple of times. So there's how we set up the transmitter. So I'm going to switch the transmitter off. And then what we're going to talk about then is basically um, finishing the helicopter off and setting the helicopter up. So if I zoom, just zoom out a second. So, okay, so this is um, the weekend after really that I built the helicopter and attempted to set the helicopter up. Now, the reason why I say attempted is because um, last Saturday, once the helicopter was, was fully built, and then I attempted to uh, set basically the GTS flight controller up, which you can see just well the blades are blocking at the moment so if I move the blades out of the way you can see the GTS flight controller there and what I did was I followed the instructions and I did all the wiring and this is the main thing that this video was about really this is what I wanted to talk about um, because there's loads of good setup videos on YouTube regarding this helicopter uh, most people tend to set it up using the set switch and the blinking lights on on the actual flight controller but become, because it comes with a Bluetooth module I decided to use the Bluetooth module to set mine up and I'm going to show the Bluetooth app um, later on my phone but so so basically I, I run all the, the wires through the heli and I plug them all in following the manual into the correct channels and the way that works basically is looking, looking from the front of the helicopter, the very front servo there is channel 1. And then we come to this servo then, which is channel 2. And then the servo on the opposite side is, is channel 3. That's how you plug it in. Then you've got your rudder servo, which goes into channel 4. Your ESC goes into the BEC port. And then you've got a um, little yellow signal wire which goes into the RPM port so that was all fantastic all that was done I run the wires for my uh, ESC and I run the wires for my spectrum um, receiver as well and then when I came then to start setting the helicopter up it went haywire it, it wasn't working at all and um, Trust me, I spent hours trying to sort this flight controller out, um, scratching my head. I, I couldn't get the swash plate to function correctly. Um, and the only way I'm going to be able to show that really is, is by coming back and just showing you um, how, how the swash plate was functioning for me and the process I went through because at one point I actually thought that this GTS flight controller was faulty and I got in touch with the company that I bought the helicopter from and started going through the motions of, of sending it back. But um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll be back soon and I'll have the flight battery plugged in. Obviously I'm not going to plug the motor wire in because we want it to be safe. And I'll just show you how my swash plate was functioning and what I had to do then to get it to function correctly. Okay, so if we look at the swash plate, um, basically, this is what was happening. I'm hoping that you're gonna be able to see this, but once I'd set the heli up and I'd plugged everything in correctly as the manual suggested, when I come to do my cyclic controls, I attempted to move the swash plate forward and it just went haywire. The same as backwards, it was turning left, not going backwards properly. And if I do the throttle, the cyclic control, that was also making the helicopter, um, uh, literally it would just have, you know, gone haywire and just pretty much to fly like that, it would just crash. So you can see that nothing was set up. And basically I went into my uh, servo adjust and I reversed servos. 
I was able to get it to work but the problem was then that when when I had it like that um, the gyro was working but for turning left and right the gyro was working in the opposite way and I really did just scratch my head um, for hours. Got in touch with Adnan Lamry who is a Goose Guy pilot in, in Holland and I, I just sort of like started asking him questions and Adnan took the time to go through the transmitter with me and everything to see if we could find out what was wrong and we couldn't. All, all my settings were correct. Um, the tail was working correct but I just couldn't get the with with the one servo reverse the gyro to work correctly now what I did then was through Adnan I reached out on um, Goose Guy Netherlands on Facebook and asked the question you know what do I need to do and within an hour you know I had a few really really help, help, helpful people trying to sort it out and when I watch the videos on YouTube, and there are some really good set of videos regarding this helicopter, um, they say, oh, you know, you, you do your settings in the transmitter, whether it's Spectrum or Futaba, and you plug your wires in, and bang, you know, you set it up and you're ready to go. Well, that's not how it happened to me, and this is why I felt it was very important to make this video. Okay, so, what was the problem? Yes, a very kind gentleman called Dennis Bealby, who was from Goose Guy Netherlands, um, said to me, OK, what you need to do is you need to plug the wires in correctly into the transmitter following the manual, and then you need to start the Bluetooth app. OK, so I've started the Goose Guy Bluetooth app and we're connected. And if I go into parameter tuning and then mechanical setup, he said, you will see channel 1, 2, channel 3, channel 4. And what you do is you change each channel to see if the swash plate functions correctly. If it doesn't, change it back. Change the next channel. If it doesn't function correctly, change it back. And keep changing either channel 1, channel 2, channel 3 and you'll find then that once you adjust one of those servos everything will start to work correctly and honestly after hours and hours and hours of basically pulling my hair out and all the help from Adnan once, once that setting was changed in the Bluetooth app, everything worked correctly. The cyclic was working correctly, the gyro was working correctly, counteracting movement correctly, and the tail was functioning correctly. So, so um, yeah, watching those other videos, this Bluetooth app from Goose Guy is an absolute game changer. Trust me, I've spent an hour setting this helicopter up today using the app and I wanted to show the app and how basically I say you connect to that Bluetooth module you click the Bluetooth sign you hit Goose Guy Android and then you click parameter tuning and there you've got basically all your gyro settings so you can change the speed on the aileron, the elevator, the rudder you can make the heli more agile or less agile and you can adjust the gain on the gyro through the app I've chose to just keep all the factory settings as, as they are so everything is on 50 which is what, what Goose Guy tell you to start at and then you just literally click mechanical setting and you've got a function there where you can click to center your servos you set all your servos up um, at 90 degrees and what I did was I used a swash plate leveling tool to make sure that all that swash plate is perfectly level and that all my servos were at 90 degrees 
and once that's done then you just click save and then you then go to your you can adjust you can do your tail and you literally just press positive and you adjust your positive tail pitch so as your servo's not binding and then you just press negative you do your negative so the servo's not binding and then you save it and then you've got your main blade pitch so what you do is you press positive and you set it to whatever you want could be 10, could be 11, could be 12 degrees pitch personally I set 12 then you do your negative as well like that and you set your 12 degrees pitch you've got then your center that's put in again um, your, your servos in in uh, perfectly at 90 degrees for you to set uh, 0 degrees at center stick uh, which is a very important part of setting up the helicopter I I actually did it sort of like mechanically adjusting the links up to the head to make sure that I had zero degrees pitch at center stick so once all that is done then I saved it and trust me that really was a breath of fresh air it was a game changer so brilliant setup very very easy to um, set this helicopter up once once that problem was sorted so as I said a massive thank you to Adnan Lamry in Holland and Dennis Bealby as well from Goose Guy Netherlands because without them I, I would have gone through the process of sending the GTS flight controller back because as far as I was concerned it was faulty I haven't seen anybody else mention the fact that you can reverse those servos if things are not working correctly so if you're ever building this helicopter and you find you're not getting that swash plate uh, to work correctly you don't change the settings for your servos you don't swap your wires around the manual is correct the order that those wires go into the flight controller but what is overlooked are these uh, settings where you can actually change those servos and it's got to be done through the app because if you don't do it through the app it will throw that gyro out and you don't want that gyro to be thrown out so there you go um, very very important message for people that will be building and setting up this uh, Goose Guy RS4 helicopter mine's done I can save everything now and I can go out and save those settings and go out to the app because it really was that easy so I, I'm really really impressed with with the Goose Guy app and how easy it was to set the helicopter up um, everything is functioning correctly the gyro as well is functioning correctly and I'm at the position now where once we get some decent weather um, this helicopter will be uh, ready to maiden so there you go. Um, just just wanted to uh, just just you know tell everybody about the issues I had, how they were sorted, and you know just thanking those nice people from from Holland for for taking the time really to message me and help me. And um, you know it wasn't just Dennis and Adnan. There were other people that tried to help. Um, and you know it is fantastic with this you know youtube and facebook and rc communities where everybody are prepared to help each other out so from me and the goose guy rs4 see you next time hopefully for the maiden flight thank you for watching bye